Dr. Wayne, let's pick back up on the healing and the disease crisis. Yes, you know, I, I got to talking there about the, uh, the, uh, the healing crises, and, and the body is actually initiating that for your body's defense. Now, I wrote something down here. By the way, the, the symptoms that we have are actually part of the cure, mm -hmm. and most of us take drugs to try to appease the symptom when we should be realizing, hey, what am I doing that's causing that? And then don't do that anymore especially if you don't like the problem as much. So uh, now some situations really, uh, like uh, the pain with cancer and uh, all of these, sometimes we do need the drugs because a lot of the times the pain is more of a detriment on the body than the drug itself. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to. But the problem here is uh, they accumulate, all these drugs accumulate in the body and they start producing uh, what we call uh, uh, drug diseases. and. Uh, I, my mother, bless her heart, you know, the ones you love the most, yeah. it's the biggest challenge. Right. And Absolutely. you want to stay off the high blood pressure, mm -hmm. stay off the aspirin, because they're all interacting with each other, and now she's got to take another drug for this, or my brother has to do this. It's just a vicious cycle. Mm -hmm. But yet we don't want to change. Right. It evolves. Nobody change. wants to change, right? Except a wet baby. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's the difference between a disease crisis and a healing. So what's a disease crisis? I had to write this down for you. That's when the body has become so overloaded with toxic, uh, either drugs, bad food, uh, everything that goes on within the body that's not conducive to good health, the body can produce this dealing uh, disease crisis, and actually it's on the defense. Uh, uh, so that's good. So the healing crisis and the disease crises are interactive, but uh, don't suppress the symptoms. Just uh, understand them. Get some advice. Just don't do this by yourself. If you need to call me, first of all, uh, I have an hour of personal coaching that comes with our Health at Last site. And anybody that has problems, I, if I can't answer that for you, I am very well connected. After 35 years, I know who's doing what in the industry, and I can advise different uh, avenues of pursuit. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Oh, absolutely. Okay. You know who to call. Oh, do I ever? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm very grateful. So you wonder, what? well then, how does the body heal itself? Mm -hmm. We've got killer T cells and killer B cells, okay? The killer T cells are the attack cells, and the killer B, let me make sure that I've got this down here right for you, because I, I made some special notes here for us, so that we could... Uh, 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 you see your B cells, that's the memory. Mm -hmm. the, the, the T cells are your, are your killer cells. Uh, 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 the, the memory cells, what they'll do, they'll, they'll remember that. Mm -hmm. They'll say, aha, I've got to produce this in the body, and the killer T cells go where it needs to go to do what it has to do. Now, praise God we have the genius that we do that, that has uh, uh, instilled all this science within the body. I think it's awesome that we can actually heal ourselves, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it, but g get some help. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, go to somebody that... Don't do it by yourself. Yes, and uh, uh, you take prescription drugs, that comes with instructions. When you've got... There's a difference between trauma and disease. When I was doing all those triathlons, I can remember when I had that accident in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Eight stitches here, there's probably still a little bit of scar. Uh, Fifteen the side of my head, mm -hmm. neck and a brace for three weeks. Dr. Wayne. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, to no. do this? Mm. Oh, praise God. Now, I don't care how much carrot juice I would have drank, how much food I would have eaten, I would have died bleeding to death out there. There's a great need for the medical uh, uh, profession and community. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but that's trauma. Mm -hmm. We are in total charge of disease, everybody. Total charge. Mm -hmm. And this is your body. You can do what you like with it. It's your body. Don't let anybody tell you differently. So the, uh, all these killer T cells and B cells, what they do is they work on all these viruses and bacteria to help keep everything in balance. Here's an interesting thing. When you get a cold or the flu and the temperature goes up, don't, do not try to lower the temperature. We always think that we need to get the temperature down. The temperature is actually the body's defense so that viruses and bacteria cannot live in intense heat. So when we get, the, so the body naturally normally just heats up to help fight off that viruses and bacteria. Does that make sense mm -hmm. to you? Yeah, so here we're trying to pull the fever down. No, don't do that. 
Mm -hmm. Let it ride its course. Get lots of rest. Drink a whole lot of water. Mm -hmm. Fluid. Good, good, clean, good, clean fluid. Exactly. So that's the that's how the body basically. By the way, we only heal from the inside out, never from the outside in. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of these different things that we're going through in our lives are great blessings. Uh, a setback is a setup to come back. Don't forget that. That's your favorite, isn't it? That's one so of them. true. Now give us some steps, I guess, on how we can fight this disease, Wayne. Make sure that our body doesn't get it. Uh, any disease, actually. Okay, there's nine components to being totally healthy, okay? Um, if, if we can think about the... Uh, and they form an acronym, a new start. Attitude, nutrition, exercise, water, sunshine, tenacity, air, rest, and temperance. Now, so here's what I do. If, if we go, uh, I wrote a few of these things down for it because it's, it's so terrific. Uh, I, I keep a journal of everything that goes wrong in my body. Uh, let's say I've got uh, that, 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 that. Actually, my knee still bothers me a little bit from the accident that I had. Mm -hmm. And when I consume different things and I feel that, oh, so, oh, oh. So I use that as a barometer because that's a very sensitive area. Mm -hmm. But this will heal up. Mm -hmm. just like everything else healed up for me. Mm -hmm. And so when we come back, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you some neat little tricks that you can do. To fight disease. To fight disease and, and keep, uh, keep uh, at, at bay. Wonderful. We'll be right back after these messages. Please stay with us. Thank you.